Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in this video we're going to be talking about the MT4 visual mode and, uh, and as the slide says if you can master visual mode there's a good chance that you can make a lot of money using automated trading and just to repeat what I've just said if you want to make millions from automated trading here's what you need to do. Now how this video actually came about is that we, there was some discussion on the forum regarding visual mode testing and after chatting to the traders I thought about it and I had a look at all the traders that are succeeding in a big way. When I say in a big way, it's like there's a barrier and once you're over the barrier, you almost in a printing money situation. And while you're on the other side of the barrier, you are battling and you're having temporary successes, but also temporary failures. And the one area that I seem to have found that separates the two is this visual mode testing. And it was like an aha moment. I just, just thought about it and I thought, my goodness, that is why what the really good traders are doing and that is what the really battling traders are not doing. And, and it's a very clear distinction between the two. The good traders do this in their sleep. They can actually do this and the mediocre traders really battle with this or they don't do it at all. So, so let's go and have a look at what testing EAs in visual mode actually means. But before that let's let's look at why visual mode is so important. Visual mode tells you whether your robot is firstly entering at the entering in the right direction, entering too soon or too late, exiting too soon or too late, using stops that are too big or too small, using targets that are too small or too big, trading too often, opening too many trades, or trading too few times, the opposite, missing great trades, and much, much more. So by using visual mode and seeing your robot trade on the charts, you can get a good idea of any changes that you need to make to your settings in particular and sometimes even the changes to the robot that you're using. You can put in filters and all kinds of things but you do need to see the trading in visual mode. You can't just look at the results. Now there are actually two ways of seeing the EA trade visually on using historical uh, data and that is the open chart method and the visual mode trading method. And I'm going to show you both of them. The first method is actually quite easy. Um, what happens is you open your Forex tester. This is the Forex tester. And after you've tested your results, your EA results, you then can click on open chart and it will actually show you the trading and it will load all the indicators that go with that trading and you can therefore follow every single trade and say why did it open is it the right place to open and so on and ask those questions that I've you, uh, mentioned in the previous slide. Then you have visual mode and here's where visual mode comes in you can you activate visual mode and when you have that activated and you run your trading it will actually show the show you the trades running step by step by step and we're going to have a look at that. Now in this example I've used the 7 Edge EA, I've used the Pound and I've just looked over the last 10 weeks because we're looking at principles here and uh, we're using a, a, a trading sample that generated $2,400 in only 10 weeks uh, trading the Pound. USD using the 7 edge. So pretty good results and let's go and have a look at those uh, tr and that particular trade. And now you get these results by looking at report after you've tested your EA settings. And just a reminder after you've done your set your testing you then click on open chart and this is what you will see. It will show you the EA and it will show you the actual charts and you can go back, this is a picture so I can't, you can go back and have a look at each trade that was taken. Now what I like about this is it, firstly it puts the indicators on that it's used to, to make trading decisions plus it shows you where the stops 
and the targets are of every single deal so you can actually see that on the chart and you can see oh why did it open a sell there you can start asking those questions i can see it's because of the crossover over there but why do, it's a bit late so there's a there's one example this trade was too late so i must have a look at the settings to make the deals open earlier and uh, there's a there's a funny one why did it enter a buy there uh, although it was nicely positive in the end uh, it uh, it is still wide uh, you know it just looks like a weird place to open a buy but it in the end it looks like it actually did quite well so you can start looking at those particular um, deals uh, on on the chart you can see like this cell you can see that little red line means it's hit at stop that uh, buy because it's a buy and the line's going up it means it's hit, hit the target so uh, there's a few red lines that have hit the, their, uh, their targets you can see in rapid succession quite a few cells have re hit their targets quite nicely that's quite nice to see and you can see all the blue lines going up where the blue the buyers have hit their targets so th that's how you look at your back testing and this is using historical data it's not using current data you can do the same thing with live data if you've traded your ea for let's say a month or so you can do the same thing look at the chart look where the the the, the transactions have happened add the indicators to the chart and then start saying oh gee i i have to change the setting this thing's uh, opening trades too soon or too late or in the wrong direction or all kinds of things and you can change your settings accordingly or the stops are too big or the targets are too small or or that type of thing so uh, visual trade a uh, visual the visual mode of visual trading is fantastic to see how the EA actually trades and what changes you need to make to the settings or even to the EA uh, and as I say really top traders can look at a chart like this and uh, I must just just warn you don't over analyze one transaction and say oh this is a terrible i must resolve that have a look at the charts overall uh, look this has produced the most amazing results but it's obviously uh, you can't have 100 percent results and um, there are some funny looking transactions in here but on the whole these transactions look pretty good all right so that's a bit of the uh, open chart method so let's go and have a look at the visual mode method okay so you have set the forex tester up for us and you can see it's the seven edge i'm trading the pound uh, pound it's on the four hour time frame the spread is three pips and for this for this purpose i'm using open prices but i'd normally use tick data for the for, for these this kind of testing and I've, i'm only trading about 10 weeks from the beginning of october to the middle of december and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click visual mode and I'm also going to just put that little timer. This is a timer. I'm going to set it to the middle. And I'm going to start the testing. So what it does, it opens the EA. And there we go. There it's starting to trade. And it says, there's my stop for this. Uh, there's my target for this buy. We move it down a bit. There's my uh, stop for the buy, and it's entering a couple of buys to start with. So it's, it it shows you the trading. Now the downside of this is there are no indicators on this chart. And what I would do is I would actually stop the trading. Now what you do there's a pause button here. So you stop stop the trading add the indicators that are being used in the trading so that you can see why these decisions are being made and and then you can just continue the, um, the, the 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 trading and then you can have a better idea why is it buying at the at these points uh, you can see it's already cashed in a positive buy there and you can see where uh, see how it's going but without having those indicators there it might not mean much to you and that's how the uh, the um, visual mode works you you're literally seeing the ea trading i'm going to activate it again 
and there it's going now this timer obviously you can actually play around with and it make it go faster and slower and all that type of thing uh, once you've got your indicators on here all of this training will make a lot more sense to you and you can then follow through on why certain transactions are, are, are losing why certain transactions are winning what can you make to increase the winners and decrease the losers now again here we are uh, there is virtually the same chart that we looked at earlier when it comes to the end strangely enough it adds all the in the indicators to the chart so what you can do now is you can just go back and go back to where we started and say all right why was that buy entered into and you, and you can see the various crossovers of the moving average averages that is that 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 we use to make those trading decisions and you can then say all right is are their settings too sensitive are they too loose that kind of thing are my stops too big much all those things that i mentioned earlier on the on the slide but it's beautiful to see all of these transactions you see all those buyers going positive see a couple of cells here being cashed in negatively but there are a lot of other cells being cashed in positively and the buys cashing in all the blue lines are, are, are positive buys and uh, also what you can do is just remove the grid to make it a lot clearer if, if for your analysis and that type of thing now as i say the the really good traders have a look at how the ea is trading and they can then refine the ea and this is actually the best way of finding settings good traders do never use and i'll say never use optimized settings this is the way they find their settings they look at the chart and they say no i don't like the way these settings are opening the trades and they then adjust the uh, settings so that they open sooner or they open later or they open in a, a different direction or they they change their their indicator settings so that the trades happened in, in a different way and that's how they fiddle around they f literally experiment and fiddle around until they say oh now what's going on here makes sense and i'm happier to use these settings rather than the settings i started out with so this is the way really good traders find their settings they don't use optimized settings now, i did make a video about three years ago uh, about using the visual mode here's the video you can go and have a look at that for a bit more information and um, please go and experiment with the visual mode there's no instructions required you can just go and do what i did now just tick the visual mode play around with the speeds that kind of thing uh, add the indicators that, that that you need to the the visual mode and see a trade on a live basis or use the chart facility and get that get that right up front and then just roll back and look how the, the transactions have been happen, happening and make changes to the settings to improve them to make sure that the transactions happen where that that look better for you now i realize a lot of people will not have the trading experience to make those setting changes um, that are required and quite honestly the the advanced people also don't know what changes to know to to make they experiment so that's trial and error what if i change the setting this way they ha have a look oh no it's got worse all right let's go the other way so so don't think it's a it's a science that everybody knows what they want to do it's all done by experimentation and trial and error and that's how they f f get to settings that they like is they do it by trial and error there's no course that said if if this is wrong then you must do that no you've got to play around with the settings and and, and experiment like that quite a complicated one the more trading experience you have the the better but the more you do it the better you'll get you'll find it is so easy to to do this type of thing it's the easiest thing to say what, what if i make my stop smaller what if i make my, my targets bigger that kind of thing you just play around until you what what you see on the chart looks so much better and you feel more comfortable about what you're seeing so from me alex deploy i hope i've given you quite a lot of things to think about cheerio